throughout. I... Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Inga. I'm 29 years old and a German mom living in America. Um, if you're new here, uh, also please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time there is a new video out and head over to my instagram because i post there more than here especially lately since i have been busy and um have a new job otherwise let's hop into this video like you can see i'm in the hospital um i'm 39 weeks and five days today and I am finally in labor. So a couple days ago, I went to my weekly checkup and I was two to three centimeters dilated and I had a little high blood pressure at the office, but it like kind of went down. So they didn't send me to the hospital. And then, Yesterday was Thanksgiving and I thought some of my fluid started leaking. I was just kind of waiting and seeing what's going on. If, you know, like labor will start. And also I lost my um, mucus plug yesterday. So I was like just hoping to see what's going on, looking and seeing if i'm going into labor during the night nothing happened it actually calmed down and then uh today we went you know like walking around and i just called the office and was talking to my ob and she said if i think there is fluid leaking especially since it's more than 24 hours um i should definitely come into the hospital and get checked out and so i packed my stuff came just and stayed at home with sophia she was napping All right, so, and then, uh, yeah, Justin stayed home with Sophia because she was napping. I went in and they said, they don't think it's the fluid. They confirmed it's not the fluid, but I had high blood pressure again and it didn't really calm down for a while. So the OB that was on call from my office just admitted me and said, we're having a baby today. So I called my husband, I called Justin, and he came kind of rushing. He thought it's happening right away. <laughs> um, but then we went from triage into labor and delivery. They set me up, started the Pitocin, and now I'm in labor. Well, I've been here for like nine hours almost, but... Dang, it's already 11, almost. <laughs> anyway, so about like four hours ago, they started with the Pitocin pump, like uh, putting it up every half an hour-ish. They started breaking my water, or they did break my water, which didn't do much, I think. It, and then they hired the Pitocin and it started going and then also i got the epidural because i'm not having a baby without it <laughs> and now i'm just in bed and for some reason only i feel like only my left side is numbing up my right side not too much i'm hoping it's still gonna do it because i don't want them to do it again um, but I'm having another contraction. Oh my. Anyway, I'll update you later. 
um, I think it will be another two hours or so and then hopefully we'll have baby all right you guys so it went from zero to delivery in minutes and then were people in here so i obviously also did not take a video of it but little baby is born here he is hey what what anyway so <clears throat> um he flew out i basically sneezed him out <laughs> it was only like one push and he was out so anyway <sighs> yeah so i tore a little bit they fixed me up they looked at him checked him he passed all his tests um he went on the boob already we cuddled for a long time it still are hey what Um, we're just waiting to get to mommy baby room to go take a nap or sleep. <laughs> um, it is 3 a.m. He came at 1.10. He weighs 9 pounds. Oh, he weighed 6 pounds 9 ounces and is 19 inches long. And super cute and yeah I had some food because I felt like I was dying um yeah now we're just recovering waiting for the room and I will talk to you guys next week I would say and tell you guys about this uh, whole thing and more details and stuff so with this being said, I see you guys next week. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified every time there is a new video out. And bye!